friends, how are you? <laughs> oh my god, it feels really good to be sitting down and filming again. It's been a while. So today is a Tanika Talks. We're just going to sit down, do some makeup, have a little chit chat about what has been going on. If you're excited for this video, give it a thumbs up and let's just get straight into it because I just, I'm just excited. Okay. <laughs> All right, first things first, I need to go in with my L'Oreal Anti-Redness Primer because I've got a bit of <laughs> a situation here. I haven't used this in so long because I feel like my skin has actually been like pretty good. It's really improved over the last couple months, but I am breaking out like a mofo because I started a new job. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, okay. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have heard me talking about it, but I don't think I've mentioned anything on YouTube yet. I'm also going to use some of the NYX Marshmallow Primer because I just need some hydration. My skin is so freaking dry. So I finished up at my hospitality job and I got a new job in admin at a hospital. <gasps> oh my God, it's just like... It's been a roller coaster. <laughs> so quickly, the reason I have dry skin and lots of breakouts is because I've been wearing masks and like not just the surgical ones. Like now we have to wear the proper, they have a name, I can't remember, but they're like heavy duty and they make me break the F out. <laughs> so yeah, a couple of months ago now, I actually applied for this role and the hiring manager got back to me like straight away and was like, can you interview tomorrow? And I'm like, no, like <laughs> I'm at work. Like I, I couldn't fit it in my schedule. So I was like, damn it. So I thought that I missed out and I was like, well, look, whatever will be, will be. And so anyway, just left it at that. And then a few months later, she emailed me again and was like, hey, are you still interested in this position? I was like... <laughs> Yes, I am. So I went for an interview. I was really nervous because I've never really like had a proper job interview, I guess. Like I've had job interviews, but this was like serious. Like this is a government role. There was a panel. There were three people, okay? And because I've worked in hospitality pretty much majority of my working life, when I would apply at different um, cafes, I either knew a person that worked there or because I had so much experience, they were just like a quick little chat. And they're like, yeah, you got the job. So I've never really had like a proper <laughs> like interview. Like I, they gave me questions to prepare and I got to write notes, which was actually like pretty handy but it was legit and I was really nervous. <laughs> I also was feeling a bit, I don't know, just like inexperienced because I'd worked in hospitality for so long. I was like, how am I going to use the skills I've learned from this job to like use them in an admin role? So I was just a bit nervous, but it went really, really well. And then a few weeks after, she said, I'll get in touch with you in two weeks. It got to two weeks, I hadn't heard anything. And then I left it to three weeks and I was like, oh. Mm -hmm. And then I end up emailing her to follow up. And she said like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm just waiting on some paperwork and then I can let you know. I'm like, mm -hmm. okay. And then it's when Clinton and I went on holidays to Port Douglas that she rang me and she was like, you've got the job. And I was so excited, like just at that, obviously. But then she said, um, cause it's just like a fill in, it was like a fill in role for the moment. And she's like, look, I actually think you're going to be wasted in that role. So I'll start you off there, but I want to move you into a different role. Um, because I think that you'll be wasted in that one. And I was just like, I don't know, it made me feel so good and kind of put all the doubts I had like it made them go away because she saw the potential in me and she saw my work ethic and thought that I would do better in a different role. So that was like, that made me feel really good. By the way, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I will list everything I use down below because I'll probably get distracted gas bagging and won't tell you everything. <laughs> so yeah, I've started my new job. I've probably been there for about two weeks now. And I'm loving it. Like I already feel such a sense of like stress relief 
because at my hospitality job, I was the store manager. I was the manager for a few years at this particular job. I'd been there for six years and like, it's always been a great role. I've always really loved my boss. She's worked with me like for a work-life balance so well. Like I was really, really comfortable there, but it has just started to get a bit too stressful for me. And I just was kind of over the responsibility of a team. When this opportunity came up to apply for this job, I was like, look, I'm just gonna go for it. Like I wasn't looking, it just come up and I was like, we'll see what happens. I'm so excited and I just feel like this is a great move for my future. You know, Clinton and I have a mortgage now and would hopefully like to start a family one day. And I think having this government job is just like really good. <laughs> So I'm really excited. So although I am really enjoying this new role, it's a massive change up in my routine and my schedule. And I am such a routine and schedule kind of, kind of gal, if you haven't got that already. <laughs> so at my hospitality job, I had the same shifts every week, pretty much the same hours. I lived right around the corner. So the travel wasn't very far. You know, it just, I had a routine. And this job, the travel's a little bit further. My routine is kind of all over the place at the moment. So I'm really trying to just go with the flow and be calm, <laughs> which clearly is a little bit hard for me. I don't have the time I used to have, you know, at home and I don't know, just the routine's shaken up. So I'm trying to be a bit more lenient on myself on like the little things, like if the dishes don't get done or if I haven't vacuumed the floor in four days or there's washing to do, like I'm just telling myself it's okay. One step at a time, it will get done. Like just don't beat yourself up over these little things. Like I'm doing the best I can. I'm trying to you know, get settled into a new routine after six years. Like I'm changing up my six year comfortable routine. <laughs> so I've been talking to my counselor about it and she's been really helpful and just like reassuring me that I'm doing a good job and it's okay. And I don't have to stress over these tiny little things that, you know, are not worth my stress. So since my last Tanika talks, I feel like I've had a real like shift in my mindset. So if you didn't watch my last video, I will link it below, but I was burnt the F out. Like I was just done in my job, in social media, in just life. Like I just needed a break. I was literally crying about everything, <laughs> like everything. So Clinton and I went on a holiday to Cairns and Port Douglas. And then I also had a week off at home. So as I said, I got told that I got the job when we were away on holiday and it was just like, I don't know, I just felt like things were changing for the better. You know, we were away on that trip. We were spending time together. That in itself was just great because it had been it has been such a crazy year for us. So it was nice to just spend some damn quality time together. And then being told that I got the new job and just taking time to chill. Because when I'm at home, you still just, well, I <laughs> just find shit to do. Like I don't actually stop and chill. So it was good to be away from home and actually relax. And so, Hang on, I just need to um, sort these pimples out. So I have put powder on them. Just if you get pimples like this, so they're the ones that just like continuously weep. And you put makeup on it, you put concealer on it and you can't cover it. <laughs> so what I like to do is still put the foundation and powder on. And then I like to go in with like a tiny brush, something like this with a bit of powder and then just go in circles on the pimple and kind of just push that powder into the pimple. And I find that it actually covers it up. Otherwise, if you just pat powder over the top, they still <laughs> like to show themselves. And it's very, very annoying. I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Cheek Dew in the shade, Psst, 
Now, I did do a video testing these out, so I'll link it below if you want to go and watch it. This shade looks like really scary in the bottle. Why is my... My screen is like flipped the opposite way. It just went inverted for a second. I'm like, hang on, I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, this color looks pretty deep and intimidating, but these are super, super sheer. It's actually very beautiful. Yeah, it was really nice to be on the holiday and just actually like taking some time. And what I did to make sure I was present and in that moment and really enjoying it was like, I actually did quite a bit of journaling and just quick little meditations just when I was having some alone time, like by the pool. Um, and I found that really helped to, yeah, be present. So one example was we went to a waterfall in Cairns and it was just beautiful, like swimming around in this fresh water, like, oh my God, it was just stunning. And so as I was sitting there, like we swam right over to the waterfall and I just like had my hands under the waterfall. I just closed my eyes and in my head listed three things I could hear and three things I could feel. And it just made me remember the moment so much more. Like thinking about it, I, I can feel the water on my hands and I know what I was hearing. And like, I don't know, just doing that made me feel so much more present in those moments and it helps me to remember it better. Like, and I did it all throughout the holiday and I just, I don't know, I just really liked it. <laughs> Like, look how bloody glowy that blush is. They're not very pigmented, so I think I've gone a little bit uh, overboard, but... <sighs> Damn. So yeah, that holiday was just exactly what Clinton and I needed, and it was a good wake-up call for me as well with how much effort I'm not putting into my self-care. And this is something I have been trying to work on, over the last couple of months, but it's still being pushed to the back burner because I'm just like, I'm too busy, too busy for this. So after going on that holiday and really just appreciating downtime and seeing how great it made Clinton and I both feel, I was like, okay, this actually needs to become a priority. So yeah, I've really been trying to focus more on self care and not feeling guilty for taking time out. Like I don't have to be busy all the time. After having that moment of burnout, I'm like, I never want to be in that position again because it just was shit. And so now that I've started this new job and I feel like my mindset has kind of changed, I'm just feeling so much better and more calm and more present and I don't know, I just feel really good. <laughs> Something else that I think has been making me feel really good is, again, I don't know if I've talked about this on YouTube yet, but I've been seeing a naturopath over the last couple of months. So I wanted to come off the pill. I've been on the pill for like 10 to 13 years, probably like a long bloody time. And not that Clinton and I are thinking of having babies like now, but I want to prepare my body for when that time comes. And I want to be ready, you know, because I am getting older. So I need to make sure <laughs> like my body is doing all the things that it needs to do. All right. So I just finished my brows and primed my <laughs> eyelids with some concealer. I'm going to use this ColourPop 4 Pan eyeshadow palette. It's called Dare to Bear and they're all matte shades. So I can't really remember now where I was going, but <laughs> it feels really good to come off the pill and just have my body functioning how it should be functioning. Because I really was very, very uneducated when I went on the pill and was uneducated the whole time I was on the pill. It's not until I worked with this naturopath to come off it that I'm like, holy shit, I would have never gone on it if I, if I knew. Like, what the hell? So hopefully when the time is right, I can fall pregnant. I don't know if I can. I've never tried. So we will see what happens. But I'm trying to do everything in my power and for my body to help when that day comes. So we'll see. But with that being said, I do just want to say quickly, 
please don't ask about it. Um, just be really careful with your words and with your questions because this is a very, very sensitive subject. And again, it's not until I've grown older that I've realized how much of a sensitive subject this can be. So just keep that in mind, not only with me, but with every woman that you even think about asking her when she's having kids or just anything pregnancy related, just be cautious because it can be a very triggering and traumatizing subject for women. But I think where I was going with that was that coming off the pill and getting back to my body doing its own thing has also added to this happiness that I'm feeling that it's just, you know, this is me and my body doing its thing and it just feels good. <laughs> I can't remember if I talked about this in my last Tanika talks, but we have been told there is a delay. So our contract was actually meant to end on the 8th of December. So we were meant to be in the house, but with COVID and just how the building and housing industry is at the moment, there's a lot of uh, unforeseen delays. So now it's looking like we're going to be in in about February. So a few months, but it's okay. Like I'm not too worried about it. And I'm kind of looking at it um, in like a, the universe is looking after my timing kind of way. So for example, if we were meant to be going in in December, I don't think I would have applied for the job because I would have been too busy packing and organizing a move. So things are happening when they're meant to happen and it's all for a reason. So again, I'm just going with the flow. <laughs> we actually started some furniture shopping this week or like having a browse because furniture takes like a long time. So the house is actually um, in lockup stage. It has been for quite a while. We <laughs> we went out there like a few months ago now, and a door had like some doors had be had. Uh, <laughs> let me try that again. Some doors had been put on, but there were no door handles, and so we could still get into the house and have a look. And so I think the following week we said to my family, like, everyone come out and have a look. So that's like eight to 10 people all come out to have a look and they had put the bloody door handles on. And so we couldn't even get into the house. I invited everyone out to look and we just had to stand out the front. <laughs> I was like, sorry guys. But one of our friends is actually the plumber. So he has a key. So he took us around there yesterday and we got to go in oh, it was so exciting the tiles are done and the bathrooms look so good like oh my god we did a white herringbone feature wall and oh, holy shit it looks better than i could have imagined i have been filming this whole process too and i am planning on putting up a house vlog i just just need the time it's on the list okay <laughs> but it was really exciting to see it and although this has been one of the most stressful things I've ever done in my life <laughs> I know the end result will be worth it it'll be worth it so now we are just starting like I said to browse at some furniture and I guess start packing like I can slowly start getting things ready so that it's not one big overwhelming job when the time comes I want to try and do like a matte cut crease. I'm going to go in with a bit of concealer and then I'll take the lightest shade from the palette and put that over the top. I think I might have to keep working on a look like this to perfect it, but it's getting there. I got the gist. It just needs some, um, what's that TikTok? Some something. To the salon. Huh. Anyway. All right, I'm going to do some brown liner in my tight line and some mascara. This is the Essence 24 Ever Defined Volume. Oh, but overall, this has just been a huge, huge year for Clinton and I, and I'm just excited to relax <laughs> and just take it easy and enjoy 
what the year has been as well. So this is something I've also been talking to my counselor about is that especially this year, there's been a lot of big things. And as soon as one thing happens, it's like on to the next one. And there's no time, well, it feels like to actually enjoy that moment. Like even with the wedding, such, such, such a big lead up and build up. And then it's like, all right, wedding's over, back to the house. But hang on, wait a damn minute. Can we just enjoy this wedding moment? Like this is huge. So I've been trying to really like celebrate those experiences and not let them just be pushed away. And I've also been trying now to incorporate that in smaller things in my life. I just feel like as society, we all do so much and we achieve so much, but then it's always, well, what's next? What are you doing next? When are you doing this? When are you doing that? It's like, just stop. <laughs> so I'm really trying to just enjoy those moments and appreciate us getting there. So yeah, I hope that makes sense. I feel like I was just all over the place, but you get what I'm trying to say, right? Actually, I would really love it if you would tell me something in the comments that you're proud of this week, this year, whenever. Something that you are so proud of that you achieved, that you got there, you want to savor that moment, let me know because I want to celebrate with you. I think I might mix it up and go for a brown lipstick. So I've got this lip liner by MAC in the shade Cork and the lipstick is also MAC in Photo. I am also going to just take a bit of blankety. Look, look at this. That is all I have left in this lipstick. I think this is the first bullet lipstick that I am going to use up ever. I'm just so proud. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to take a little bit of this and pop it in the center. All right. Well, that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you did make it to the end, put a brown love heart emoji because brown is the color I'm going for today. <laughs> I just also wanted to say a thank you to everyone for supporting my channel this year. I really appreciate you watching, commenting, liking, and just interacting with my videos. I really wish that I had more time to put into this channel. And I'm hoping that once I get into a new routine with this job, I am able to do that because I just love being here. I love creating content. I love chatting with you guys. And I just really appreciate all the love and support from you all. So thank you. If you aren't already, come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.